All right, in this video, I'm going to show you the components on a condensing unit as well as the inside unit. So you should be able to be, identify them and locate them when you're out in the service call. Let's look at the condenser. The condenser right here is going to be on the outside of your house here. You'll notice that we have a capacitor, and that's a dual capacitor that runs both your compressor and your uh, outdoor blower motor, your condensing fan motor. We have a contactor here, and you'll notice that this is a hole and a half contactor, which you should know the difference by now that. We've got power coming in. Right here is our low voltage connections. Okay, right in through here. Um, the compressor is actually inside or housed inside the uh, unit. Around the outside is going to be your condensing coil. And you'll have your piping that comes up uh, into the inside of the house. The larger pipe is your suction line, the smaller one's your liquid line. On this particular, particular unit, we also have a sight glass. Okay. And if you come over here, we can see that we have a TXV as our metering device. And you'll notice that we've got the sensing bulb connected to the suction line here. Uh, as we go further in, our evaporator coil, and again, this would be on the inside of your house here, your air handler, uh, this is where your evaporator coil is going to be housed. Uh, blower motor and then your electrical connections up top here. Uh, also one other thing, on this upflow unit, you have a filter rack down below. That's where your filter, that's where you'll be able to change your filters in and out. Condensate drain line as well. All right, so that should give you a good, uh, good start on identifying components on both the inside and outside units.